All right, boys and girls, the time is now. Part three of the massive 300 plus eBay pen haul. And as you can see, today we're gonna be focusing on the Garland haul. Um, in this lot, there's 24 pens. I paid $70. Most of them, I believe, are bubble tops, but there's some really cool designs, some great advertising, and one of the pens sticks out above the rest and is my absolutely favorite and it brings back a warm nostalgic feeling that i haven't had in a long time and for those of you that are new to the page my name is big bad brad and welcome to ab rustic relics your home for everything pens let's get started shall we let's go ahead and pull these bad boys out and see what kind of treasures we have. Two bundles, three bundles, and four bundles. Let's move these aside, and I'm gonna set out some slaughter trays, so that way you can get a better view of these stunning garland ballpoint pens and pencils. And, like I said earlier, there's 24 pens and pencils in this lot, but I'm going to save my favorite one to the very end, you know, to build anticipation. All right, first up, we have this stunning stainless steel energy park garland, and all these pens are bubble tops. I don't know if garland has other models, but all I'm familiar with is their bubble top line. Let me know if there's other models out there and what they are, because I would love to expand my knowledge in the Garland category. There is pen number one. Pardon me, mechanical pencil number one. Next up, we have a lovely chrome Garland mechanical pencil. Twist activated. I believe all the Garland bubble tops are twist activated. I have not seen any other mechanisms before. And for this pen, I'm not sure what the advertisement is on it. Let me know if that logo looks familiar. Because I would love to know what it is. And I'll be keeping a few of these pens and pencils in my collection. But a lot of them are going to be going into our store. I will leave a link in the description below because I don't collect tons of garlands, but I know people like them, so I buy them. But there's a definitely a couple that will probably be going in my collection. At least one for sure. Oh, sorry. This is a garland twist activated ballpoint pen in black and it has PSB on the bubble top. Not sure what that is. Next up, we have a black and chrome Acura ballpoint pen. Perfect pen for any car lover. Pretty good shape. Yeah, I think this should be a good pen for the store. And stick around to the end and I'll put together a little musical slideshow so you can take a closer look at the pens and pencils in this lot. Here we have an 88th Army Reserve Command pen, and it's got some Army insignia on top, some kind of clover. I'm not sure what that insignia is, but this is the perfect pen for any Garland fan or military member. Next up, we have a red and chrome Skills USA Twist Activated. Garland ballpoint pen. And this is from Minnesota Skills USA. Vika. Next, a stainless steel Dan Rasher pen. And this one's solid stainless steel with gold trim and it has the name Dan Rasher on the bubble top. Not sure who he is. Maybe he's someone prominent. No idea. But that pen will be going online. Next up, we have 
a University of Minnesota Health System Garland pen. Great looking color, very close to burgundy, but I'm going to bet that this is somewhere in the purple family. I don't know if you're picking it up on your end, but looking through the camera, I can tell it's going to be hard for you guys to tell what it is. But I love the color. I would keep this in my collection, but it has the advertising University of Minnesota, which doesn't really appeal to me. So on to the next one. Next, we have uh, Bill Corrigan Insurance, Minnesota, red and chrome trim garland bubble top. Great looking pen, and one thing I really like on this pen is the umbrella on the top. One of my favorite things about the Garland is all the different bubble top designs. Uh, tons of different varieties and super fun in my opinion. Next one we have has a crown on the bubble top and it is First Crown. I'm not sure what First Crown is. Uh, I'm sure a quick Google search would tell me, but that is for another time. Maybe you guys can save me the work and just let me know. And this is a black and gold trim garland. And if you see anything you like, let me know. Because I am happy to work out something with you before they're listed on eBay. We do accept PayPal. And we can get these pens to you. This one is a gold plated and chrome trim. And it says Northwest on the top. I don't know if that's Northwest Airlines or what. But... Should be a good pen to put on eBay. Next, we have a PSB black and chrome trim garland. I'm not sure what the PSB stands for. But this one is in a little rougher shape. So I'll be starting this bad boy a little cheaper than the rest. Um, like I said in earlier videos, there was only two pictures to go off for each one of these lots. So it was a little bit of a gamble, but for the price I paid, I think it was well worth it. Next, we have Curtis Industries in a nice classic blue Pantone's color of the year. And a little Curtis logo, I'm assuming. A C with some kind of beacon off of it or something like that. But I do like the color, but that advertising doesn't do nothing for me. Next up. We have another stainless steel. This one I do like quite a bit. And I really love the black trim on it. But yeah, this one has no advertising on the barrels. It does have the words Hill Room on the bubble top. Or Hill Rom. So I really do like that matte black trim against the stainless steel. So I'm going to put this one right here in the middle because I am going to be adding that one to my collection. Next up, we have another blue bubble top, and this one's Medtronic. One thing I have noticed in this lot, that there is some size variations. Some are a little fatter than others, and some are a little slimmer. So let me know if there's any specific names for the differences in sizes. Here we have Large Quest Elevators. And this one is in, I would say white, but it's probably closer to an ivory. And on the top, it says... Laggerquist. That's a tough word to pronounce, Laggerquist. And I might even be saying it wrong. Here's how it's spelled. Laggerquist. Laggerquist Elevators. That one will be going for sale. Here we have one in red. And it's Egan and Sons, Minnesota. And it has the E, which I'm assuming is their logo, on the top. Great color, but don't do nothing for me. Actually, I'm going to switch this pen over here and put these other reds by it. Um, I may just put these in order at the end of the video before I do the slideshow. So I always like to see how many of each color that we have. Here we have another red garland, chrome trim, and this says Skill USA on the top. And we already do have one of those right here. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this black one over and this red one over and put that right there. And some of these may even be ballpoint mechanical pencil sets. Oh, I almost showed you my favorite one. I almost totally messed up. All right, next is a brown garland. And this one's pretty cool because it has ladies home journal on it, which I know a lot of ladies read that. And I think it'll be a good pen to put on eBay. Plus, I really like that brown color. Probably not the best color for the ladies, but for me, I think it's pretty cool. But I'm not going to be keeping it because I don't read Ladies Home Journal. Next up, we have another one in chrome. And this is that logo I showed you earlier. That I'm not sure what it is. And I like the little black trim here. But not as much as I like the other one with the black trim. It has the black point right, and the black clip. So here they are together for comparison. Let me know which one you prefer. But I will be putting that one online also. Next up is a Fred Holnick Association pen from... Pittsburgh. Oh, not Pittsburgh, just Pennsylvania. Pardon me. <laughs> and that's chrome trim in black. And they have no logo on the top, but a nice little bubble nonetheless. Alright, we have three more pens to go, and I am saving my favorite for the end. Next up, we have Best Chairs. Um, another classic blue and I really like their bubble icon here. And it's just a cool looking chair. But I don't collect them necessarily for the designs on the bubble top. So this one is going to be going online. I ran out of room in the trays. I'm going to go ahead and line up the ones here that are left. You already know I'm keeping this one. And I'm going to save my last one for the end and the winner is going to go up on top of the garland hall. Next one, this is a, a Masonic pen, is Zura Sunshine and I'm assuming this is for the Shriners and here it has their logo and it's got the star with the moon and stuff like that. It seems like the Shriners to me. Let me know if you know and as you know it's always appreciated. I do like that one a lot. Uh, Masonic stuff always does good on eBay. And I know a lot of people collect it. And that is a nice burgundy color. Alright. One more thing before I show you my fave. And this was in the lot. Just a little garland refill. So that'll be nice. Nothing special though. But people always have to fill their pens. <coughs> Lastly, the creme de la creme, the garland, mood-changing ballpoint pen. Talk about epic. And I ain't talking about the paper made epic. I'm just saying this pen is epic. And on it, it says, what's your mood? Black. Black, tense and inhibited. Reddish brown, strained or anxious. Golden yellow, unsettled. Light green, bright green, emotionally charged. Bright blue, relaxed, free and easy. And violet blue, the ultimate mood. Well, I always loved mood rings when I was a kid. This is my first time ever seeing a mood pen. So let's just go ahead and see what mood I'm in. So right now it's green. And it may be that way because I've been handling it. But let's see what mood I'm in. And it does not say how long to wait. So I'm just going to give it like, you know, 15 to 30 seconds. And we will see what mood I'm in. This is one pen I'm going to be keeping in my collection. There's no advertising on it. And this is really fun. And I think the kids w would be happy to get it one day. Alright, let's do a countdown. And we will see what mood I'm in. 
ten, nine, eight, seven. And before I tell you what mood I'm in, let me know what mood you're in, and if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit like and hit that bell notification because we're always posting fresh material. Alright, here we are. I would say that's like a light blue there, a chain song. And light blue, oh, bright blue. Actually, there's bright blue and violet blue and bright green. Sorry about that. I gotta do this again. Thinking it was closer to the bright green, honestly. All right. Light blue. I'm going with light blue. Bright blue. And relaxed, free, and easy. And right now I actually am feeling pretty relaxed. Uh, I've had a little bit of a stressful day, and doing this video helped calm me quite a bit. Sometimes it's just nice to come in here and get a little bit of peace and quiet and be at one with my pens. They don't ever talk back, and they're always here for me. All right, well, that is the last pen. Let's go ahead and place that up here because this garland is the winner. A number one. All right, let me put these pens in order because it's going to look beautiful and stick around to the end for a slideshow of the haul. Thanks for watching. I'm Big Bad Brad, and I hope to see you again soon. Ciao, Maine.